Travel Robot Presence Hey, in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in North Dakota. North Dakota is a land that has seen little change since the days of Theodore Roosevelt, or even Lewis and Clark for that matter. Roosevelt, who was an avid fan of the state and who often retreated there during his presidency, said it was a world of beauty and color and limitless space. The rugged badlands, lush woodland settings, and water-fed natural features of North Dakota provide seemingly endless landscapes to explore. As well as stunning scenery, the state presents a fascinating glimpse into the history and culture of the region through its museums, so before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Theodore Roosevelt National Park Theodore Roosevelt National Park is one of the main highlights of any trip to North Dakota. Named after the naturalist, rancher, and 26th President of the United States, the National Park still encompasses the same landscapes that once enamored Roosevelt himself. The Little Missouri River winds its way through the rolling hills and badlands of the park. Visitors are encouraged to hike or simply drive through the park to appreciate the natural beauty alongside free-roaming bison. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is geographically separated into a north and south unit, as well as the additional Elkhorn Ranch unit, where Roosevelt himself spent much time among the Badlands. Plenty of hiking trails and designated scenic drives are a big draw to the north and south units of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. In the south unit, the Painted Canyon Visitor Center provides engaging information and one of the best viewpoints in the park. The Maltese Cross Cabin is also in the south unit, restored to the era in which President Theodore Roosevelt called it his temporary home. Camping is one of the popular things to do in the park. RV and tent camping is abundant here in two different campgrounds. Number 9. National Buffalo Museum Approximately halfway between Bismarck and Fargo on Interstate 94, drivers can see the world's largest, albeit concrete, bison from afar outside the National Buffalo Museum. Its living counterparts graze at its feet. Among them are rare albino bison. Within the National Buffalo Museum, visitors can learn everything about the great beasts that once roamed the American West. The 6,000-square-foot facility has several exhibits regarding the near extinction of buffalo in the American West and the efforts to reintroduce them into the landscape. The museum also includes a frontier village, which includes a collection of old pioneer buildings, with a barbershop, church, drugstore, jailhouse, schoolhouse, post office, and many more. During the summer months, visitors to Frontier Village can tour all the historic sites, enjoy stagecoach and pony rides, and partake at the on-site old-fashioned soda fountain. Number 8. Knife River Indian Village's National Historic Site Near Stanton, on an old camping ground of the Mandan and Hidatsa Indians, is the Knife River Indian Village's National Historic Site. A number of villages have been rebuilt here in an attempt to preserve the culture. Today, this historic site introduces camps, field trips, and individuals to the native environment. A popular thing to do with the Knife River Indian Village's historic site is checking out the museum on the ground. This educational facility features artifacts and relics from the village, as well as significant cultural emblems of the people native to the area. Patrons also enjoy walking the village trail, checking out the reconstructed earth lodge, and hiking the various trails that wind throughout the scenic landscape. Different activities and events take place at Knife River Indian Villages throughout the year, including games, craft shows, and ceremonies, all of which really bring the historic site to life. Number 7. North Dakota Heritage Center In Bismarck, the North Dakota Heritage Center offers an overview of the history of North Dakota from prehistoric to modern times. Visitors to the Heritage Center can choose from four museum galleries to peruse. In total, the museum contains thousands of different exhibits, artifacts, and displays, ranging from a Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton cast to a scale model of the Hubble Space Telescope. Another popular point of interest is the Northern Lights Atrium. This steel and glass piece of architecture welcomes guests to the museum and provides an eye-catching spectacle at night. For warmer months, the immersive landscapes of the Capitol Arboretum Trail at the Heritage Center also draw some interest. Refreshments are available at the on-site James River Cafe. Number 6. 
Plains Art Museum. In the historic downtown district of Fargo, the Plains Art Museum is home to an impressive collection of works by regional and national artists. Contemporary art, as well as traditional American Indian art and traditional folk art feature prominently in the permanent collection. The museum presents changing exhibitions throughout the year within its 56,000 square feet of space. Youth and family programs are available at the Plains Art Museum, as well as adult workshops. The Plains Art Museum also presents various public art and gardens throughout the city that enhance any visit to Fargo, including the homage to history Sodbuster sculpture located downtown. The museum is closed on Sundays and most major holidays. Admission is free for all ages. Number 5. Scandinavian Heritage Park The Scandinavian Heritage Park in Minna offers a unique look at aspects of Scandinavian culture in the countries of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland. This outdoor museum includes numerous replica buildings, statues, and cultural points of interest to explore. Visitor favorites include the replica Gull Stave Church, an 18th century home transported from Sigil, and a 25-foot-tall Swedish Dalla horse on display. Also on the grounds, the replicas of a Finnish sauna and Danish windmill are popular spots for visitors and photographers. Attractions are not heated at Scandinavian Heritage Park, and the summer is the best time to visit. The park offers tours of the various on-site buildings between approximately mid-May and late September. The end of the season at Heritage coincides with the annual Norse Coast Fest, which takes place at the fairgrounds every year. Number 4. Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park is a great a place to engage with history, hike some trails, and spend the night next to the water. The state park reflects both its military history and Native American roots. On site, visitors find reconstructed buildings, like the Custer House and the reassembled on a slant Mandan Indian village. These reconstructed pieces of history offer an opportunity to learn about the legacy of the landscape. The on a slant Indian village features six recreated earth lodges, and the Custer House is accompanied by several other restored barracks, granaries, and the commissary store. For recreation, the nearly seven miles of trails attract hikers, bikers, and horseback riders. To extend your stay at Fort Abraham Lincoln, the state park also offers a modern campground near the shores of the Missouri River, complete with showers and flushing toilets. Number 3. Lake Sakakawea. In the west-central part of the state, Lake Sakakawea is North Dakota's largest reservoir, and with more than 1,500 miles of shoreline, it's a popular place to enjoy the water. Two state parks can be found close to the shore of Lake Sakakoa, Fort Stevenson and Lake Sakakoa State Park on the eastern banks. Both offer overnight options with modern campgrounds and ease of access to the water with public access docks and boat rentals. Sailing, kayaking and motorboating are popular activities associated with Lake Sakakoa, and the lake offers year-round fishing opportunities. Hiking is also sought after at Lake Sakakoe. Number 2. Ma Da He Trail For avid hikers and outdoor enthusiasts, the Ma Da He Trail is known as North Dakota's best-kept secret. Attracting hikers, bikers, and horseback riders, the Ma Da He Trail covers more than 140 miles of iconic North Dakota landscapes. Scenic spots on the route include Badlands, the Little Missouri River Valley, and portions of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Ambitious trail travelers can navigate the entire route over an average of 10 days. Numerous trailheads along the route allow for scenic day trips. The city of Medora is often a base camp for day trips on the Ma Da He Trail. Number 1. Three Tribes Museum and Four Bears Bridge Four Bears Bridge is one of two bridges built over the Missouri River on the Fort Berthold Reservation in the U.S. state of North Dakota. It carries North Dakota Highway 23. The current bridge, which opened in 2005, is the second largest bridge in the state and replaced an earlier bridge built in 1934. The 1934 bridge was moved in 1955 following the construction of the Garrison Dam and the creation of Lake Sakakoe. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. 
see you in the next video.